Um, so yes, I reached out to her. Um, I said, Karma, are you available to chat in two days? And then it was Karma, actually, can you chat today? I think that's pretty close to how it went. <laughs> uh, and she's like, I always got time for you. I'm like, oh gosh, I just, I just miss her. Um, and so the initial conversation was, you know, uh, would this be something of interest to you? Because I obviously very much so value who you are and, and, and what you've um, brought to the game in so many capacities. And so um, obviously her showing that initial interest, I'm like, oh my gosh, we are on to something here. Um, and then conversations just carried on from there. I shared my vision um, of where I'm looking to, to take this club. Um, and obviously we're very aligned in that vision pretty quickly. Um, and so for me, it was just a no brainer. Um, like I said, for me, it's one thing to be a very, very good coach and have a very good understanding of the game. Um, it's another thing to be an incredible human being. And for me, she checks so many of those boxes and all those spaces that it's just a no brainer, um, to have her here with us. And so obviously incredibly excited, as you can tell, um, to have her here. Yeah. What has the integration of CARM into the, the staff kind of looked like, like what meetings have you guys had? Yeah, no, it's a great question. Um, it's very new. <laughs> she just started here yesterday, officially, um, in office. So came in, um, had a few meetings and conversations. Um, obviously, I have a very uh, big vision in regards to what I believe we can accomplish as a staff and how we can complement each other as a staff um, and what those roles are. So we can hone in on those roles and essentially give all our expertise to those roles. Um, and so for me, it's just been a smooth integration. I've obviously had a relationship with her before. I've known her previously. So um, it, she's a joy to be around. She takes a, a good humor, as we all do as a staff. We enjoy our humor. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a slow integration, but one that she's been very willing to um, learn as quick as possible and obviously wanting to uh, adapt her as quick as possible to kind of what we want to look like. Um, I think for me, a, a big part of who I am as a coach and who I am as a leader is embracing embracing other experiences, experiences and being open to the ideas of how have you done this in the past? This is my vision. And ultimately, like I will come to the decision, but I want to understand what your expertise is, and maybe what you've done in the past. And so I very much so open that to my staff to get some feedback in that sense, to understand how I can provide essentially the best environment alongside them for these players and for this club. I feel like Carmen's resume kind of speaks for, oh, geez. for herself. Slightly, but huh? <laughs> you mentioned you reached out to her. Mm -hmm. What was it that you knew your your intuition that she was the missing piece for this club? Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, having the opportunity to have played with her um, and see her understanding of the game and see her passion for the game um, and seeing her want to teach even at that stage and her career still as a player. Um, then seeing all that she's accomplished and all that she's continued to accomplish um, in the women's game was incredibly inspiring. I've been following her career this whole time. And so for me, it was to have someone that could compliment us and to have someone with her expertise. Um, it was immediately, well, obviously, obviously how it played out in the sense of, of the departure from Mario. Um, it was pretty quick. Okay, now we've got to pivot. Um, and she was the first person that I thought of. Um, and again, tried to initiate that call. I'm like, okay, we'll chat in two days. Let me process everything. Hey, are you actually free to chat today? <laughs> um, so I think for me, it, it came very quickly because of all the success I've seen her continue to accomplish. And I think a lot of people don't talk about the relationships that she builds with players and the relationships that she builds with the people she works with. People enjoy working with her. People enjoy working for her. People enjoy playing for her. And for me, that's a huge piece of what I'm trying to build here and why this was so important to have somebody like her here, because I know she will continue to embrace everybody and create a family environment here. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. And so for me, it was, it was a no brainer. It was a quick little WhatsApp text. And then here we are. So that the other piece of news with Lauren extending for a year, she's had a pretty unique like soccer journey to this point. Can you mm -hmm. kind of speak to what her story serves as an example for others in the team or others kind of coming up through the ranks? Yeah, absolutely. And I think Lo is just, um, she is a very passionate player um, and she's very adaptable. When you feed information to her, she processes it. She wants to be a part of it. Um, she's very coachable. Um, and she has a very good understanding of the game. Um, and obviously you've seen her kind of dabble into the coaching ranks, if you will, getting her coaching licenses and stuff like that. She's got a very good knack for educating and teaching. Um, and for me, I just think she brings so much to this environment professionally, 
Uh, she's always here early, right? Um, she's always, I used to, I joke with her all the time because for games, she's one of the first ones there all the time, just sat in her little locker, um, you know, watching a game probably on her phone. She just has such a, a unique passion for the game. She's always watching it. She's always talking about it. She's coaching, right? Um, and so to have someone like this in our environment to, to obviously um, to extend her contract, I think for us is is incredibly exciting. She means a lot to the city and she means a lot to this club. What's kind of jumping out about this group to you? Because the last time we talked to you was pretty early. In the year, right? Yeah, so that's true. Different. That's true. <laughs> just any initial takeaways or anything that's really standing out about something maybe you didn't expect from this group? Right? Yeah, no, I think nothing so far that I didn't expect. But I think for me, it's their continued want to be coached their eagerness to understand what we're looking for um, and the passion and the dedication to do that and commit to that. Um, very early on, I've seen it present in multiple facets. And I think for me, it's just very exciting as a coaching staff to show up and have such eager players that want to learn and want to understand and want to execute and also enjoy that freedom and fluidity within that um, sort of framework that I've spoke about previously. So I think for us, it's just, it, it's pure excitement. Um, when you have that all encompassing holistic approach in the sense of having so many people that want to learn, and then you're obviously so excited to educate. I think it's just created this really fun environment, um, holistic environment for us very early on. Um, so very proud of the group, very grateful for the group's attention and dedication to these early stages and these early phases of of what obviously we would like us to look like this season. We have a question from Zoom from Theo. Uh, he wants to know what uh, is one of the special attributes about Carm that you remember from playing days or more recent interactions? And do you have a favorite Carm Moscato story? Oh, geez. <laughs> She's back there going. <laughs> uh, um, it's honestly just her energy and her passion. Like, I... I don't know how she does it. <laughs> it's so impressive. She comes in just excited to learn, excited to educate, excited to teach the game. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen her energy any different from the moment that I shared the pitch with her as a player uh, to following her interviews with her coaching career to her being here now. She's just such a joy to be around and she's so fun to be around um, and she motivates you and the way that she talks. Um, and, and for me, that's probably the biggest pieces for Carm that stood out for me as a player and obviously now as a coach um, and obviously excited to, to just be around her more um, and for this group to experience that passion and that energy firsthand. Anything else for Beth? You have a pretty young forward group mm -hmm. a few pieces who have been here and mm -hmm. a few you know, like Raymond's and stuff. How have you seen them respond early in camp? Because it, it's them and there's not a ton of evidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, when I spoke earlier about where the group sat as a whole, I think it obviously uh, speaks volumes to them as well as young players coming in um, and kind of vibing off of the, the environment. Um, and uh, for me, they've just put a huge emphasis on wanting to learn as much as they can early on in whatever those roles are um, and trying to dive into that detail. And obviously, you know, they're coming from spaces where maybe they're used to certain things, but certain things are also new to them. But the group as a whole is experiencing that together. So it's very unique with how everyone's able, even the older players in the group, the more experienced players in the group, the middle group, and then the young group, we're all kind of experiencing something similar. And the what I'm trying to teach is different to everybody. Again, they might have experienced it in different ways throughout their careers, whether it was collegiately, different teams, this type of thing, but we all get to share that right now. And so I think the embracing of one another and the environment inside the locker room and out is allowing the young players to really embrace what's being asked of them and look to execute it as quick as possible. And so very proud with uh, with how they've come in and, and obviously uh, the information they're processing and what they're trying to execute. And I think they've done a fantastic job.